Welcome to video log number one of our Stones trip. We call it the Stones? The Stones. That's what they're called, the Stones. Okay. Prestoning, Prestoni. So, first note, as tradition dictates, I showed up at David's place at around quarter till six, and we left White Rock at about eight. <laughs> and he had all day to pack. So, we're sticking with it. Thumbs up. <laughs> I, I actually woke up at like 2 p.m. Oh, so he's perfectly fine. <laughs> well, I'm I, glad I, the guy that woke up at like 6.30 this morning is the one driving. <laughs> I would drive, I just don't have insurance no. anymore. <laughs> Tradition. Yes. Yeah. I actually went to bed at... I think it was 4 a.m. Oof. Pretty late. It wasn't the brightest day, yeah. I couldn't get to sleep actually. It wasn't because I was really? playing video games. Yeah, I was actually tr I, I tried to go to bed at like 1:30. Uh huh. Um, Which is still relatively late. Yeah, it's still relatively late. Um, but when I was at, uh, I was watching some stuff with my dad till like 12:15, uh -huh. and then I did some other stuff till 1:30, and then I couldn't get to sleep. Uh, so I just got up and walked around. <laughs> yeah, you know what I do is I have melatonin. So if it's like something like that, I'll take a, I'll take. A I know what you mean, like, especially during school, yeah. you know, you're just going and you can't just stop, you know, it's like, okay, I need to fall asleep now so I get four hours of sleep, that's not gonna happen, nope. <laughs> so, you know, so, I was getting paranoid, I thought there was, like, caffeine in my, uh, shampoo or something, because it was, like, it was something, like, I think it was, like, morning or something, it said something like, oh, it's a great way to start your morning or something like that, wash away in the morning and so sometimes I'll put a little bit of caffeine in there shampoo or soap or something so I thought it was like that because every time I take a shower I would be wired <laughs> yeah. the shower. I think it was just because the shower kind of washed up and, anyway. we're on our way to Lauterburger yep so. it's gonna be tasty it's gonna be tasty delicious <laughs> taking a different route we're going through Taos to get to Colorado this time oh, it's gonna be different I mean we could go through Alamosa but well, we're not gonna go. We're gonna go. Kind of, I'm gonna try to go around Taos. I think I know a way right. to kind of get around Taos so you don't have to go through it. Although we'll be getting through there and probably around. It'll be after nine, so it might not be that bad. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it'll be a different way of going. Uh, interesting. We'll be hitting Walsenburg. Not used to that. It's a bit far. Uh, it's a bit far east. It's at the very edge of the mountains. We were also doing this trip with that Sam. It's sad. You see this It's really uh, hard to bring it up. No, 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 we are, we're crying on the inside. Stephen's actually gonna start crying, so we should probably stop the video log. Anyway. I was trying not to remember. <laughs> but it's, you never forget. You just... <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you guys on video log number two. Shout out to you, Sam. Oh my gosh, that's awesome! I'm dual recording. Interesting. Dude! That's so sick! Video log number two. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, this ain't good enough. This is video log 1.2. <laughs> that's not good enough for the two. Welcome to video log number two. Yeah. Trying to make eye contact with the camera. Well, if it helps, I can dual screen it. 
<laughs> that would be really funny. So for those of you that don't know what the dual screen is, David's got this cool feature on his phone that'll show a camera pointing to the back of his phone and the camera pointing to the face of his phone. So you have one facing us, the other facing the road. So the idea would be I would drive through the camera watching the road. Be interesting. Very dangerous. I would only do that if you were practicing at like five miles oh, an hour. I thought you were going to say I would only do that if we had our safety helmets on. <laughs> I really hope I'm not lying. You had it. Well, that's right. I put it in my other one. I put it in you my had one. it out in all the crap, and yeah. then all the crap was gone from the living room. I know where I put it. It's in my uh, orange uh, backpack. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Mine's in my day pack, too. Along with a bottle of whiskey. So, yep. That, that happened. Yeah. Well, we drove through Taos. This is kind of nice because it's a, well, it's a nice relative term in that we've never really driven this road. I've never really driven this road. I've been on it, you know, but never driven it. We, we haven't gone to Colorado this way. Yeah. Per se. It's always been through Alamosa. We're going up through Fort Garland. So, you know, through Taos. So, it'll be interesting. It's different. We'll be going to Walsenburg, like I said. We'll be hitting the east end. Colorado, and then bouncing back into the mountains. But, uh, yeah. Anything else we need to say? We're in the town right now. What town are we in? I don't know. There was no sign. We've been through a couple of minutes. Yeah, nothing major. It's, uh, 1020. So, I don't know, we probably still have, like, at least three hours. Probably. Yeah. But we're in Quested. Oh, well, we are in Quested now. So, yeah. Cool. I am speeding like a man now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I wasn't going 55 in a 35. Actually, it probably would have been a 45. Which sounds a lot less, but there's Ooh, a 35. Ooh, fancy. Quested actually has a digital, uh... Yeah, and it's flashing! Wow. Gas is only 279. This town is so small. Yeah. It makes Los Alamos look like Albuquerque. A lot of these northern New Mexico towns, not a lot of New Mexico towns in general, make Los Alamos look a bit big. Yeah. Honestly. Even though Los Alamos only has like 12,000 people. No, we got 20,000. Is it 20? Yeah. Well, I'm thinking of, no, that wouldn't be just White Rock. I'm thinking of probably just literally Los Alamos, not including. Oh, Rock. no, including White Rock. It's, it would uh, probably be around. Well, it probably. I reckon it's about eight thousand. Yeah, yeah, around that eight six thousand. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I was thinking of. Literally, Los Alamos, not oh, yeah. counting. Probably like twelve to yeah. fifteen thousand. Yeah. I think that's going up because they keep putting in new stuff. So. I I wouldn't be surprised if it's going up. It's not going up drastically. Yeah. There's only so much room they can put stuff. They're they're utilizing the vast majority of room they have until DOE can open up with it, but that's not going to happen because of uh, explosive ordnance and all that. They could clear them out. And just... uh, that would be a lot of work because technically that uh, a lot of that DOE land, so like when you're in Ancho Canyon and stuff, that's cleared out for you to, you know, we can go in and open public. You don't even have to be an employee to go there. Yeah. Um, but they still have the ordinance signs because you never know. Yeah. Because they weren't as good at documenting back then. So, and uh, the, the, probably the big worry is buried ordinances. Yeah. So, like, when, you know, you set up a house, you build a foundation. And you might hit something. <laughs> I imagine, which, you know, obviously that would never happen. What they would do is they would have to survey the shit out of any area that they're going to develop. Yeah. And you know, really, you know, go through there with, like, you know, all sorts of, you know, ground penetrating sensor, you know, technology. It actually use radiation for that probably. Yeah. And they use it to go down and then when it bounces up you can see how it bounces up, you can see what's up here. Interesting. So that's probably what they would do. Well, we'll see you guys probably when we get to camp, right? Uh yeah, when we get to the end of our trip, might as well. Unless we want to film in Walsenburg or something, but yeah. Well, regardless, we'll see. Uh, you. Oh, wait, wait. One quick thing, I almost forgot. Rhymus restroom review. Lotta Burger improved their bathrooms. Yeah. It's pretty nice, right? 
doesn't, they had no mirror. I did not notice the lack of mirror. <laughs> it doesn't have a mirror. Okay, yeah, that's and, and their, and their, um, their hand, their, their hand soap is, uh, is on the paper towels. And it, there's no hand soap in there. Ugh, yeah. But they like, you know, it doesn't look as nasty as it used to. Oh, yeah. It, it, it looks better. It looks like a bathroom I may take a dump in. It, it still sucks. <laughs> still sucks, but it's 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 pretty nice considering it's a lot of work going to be It's true. So figured I'd get that in there. Almost forgot. All right. Well, then we'll see you guys on video log number three. Guns up. This is video log number three. Three. As you can see, I am utilizing my dual camera oh hello i didn't see you there <laughs> <laughs> you can see both me and steven at the same time it's interesting it's a, it's a new feature it's pretty nifty we'll see how it goes this phone is see like how it, we'll see how it views on the computer i love my galaxy s3 but the new features that they put into the s5 are pretty great they are i haven't played with them that much i have an s5 Yours, yours is the Sport. Mine is the Sport, so I don't have the case for it because the Sport doesn't come with a case. I wonder why. I don't know. Because everyone does the Galaxy 5S, I guess. I don't know. Because the Sport's supposed to be more rugged, so it shouldn't need a case. But it needs a case. It needs a case. No, I don't crack the screen and it needs a case. I'd like it to have a case. You could probably get one special made. I probably could, but I haven't looked into it. I haven't done anything super yeah. rough. It just would be nice to have a case. But anyway, we are at the trailhead. We did the four-wheel drive. 1.30 in the morning, mm -hmm. at night. Did the whole four-wheel drive section. We're at the top. Car doesn't have four-wheel drive. Got all-wheel. Automatically, I can't change it to all-wheel. Um, so there was a couple sections where it, it kicked into all-wheel. Because uh, there were some slippery parts. But, uh... Pretty nice. We made it all the way up here, so we can just, we don't have to do any driving tomorrow, just start hiking. We are parked, and that is very convenient. Yes. I like it. I was planning to stop at the end of the two-wheel, and then, like, do the four-wheel in the morning. But I was driving, and I saw this other car. There was a guy, there was a couple guys that were in front of us, and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> they talked me into it, seeing those other cars. <laughs> And in fact, these guys, they're like parked next to us. I think they're camping off of somewhere else. But uh, yeah, they were up here like right when we got here. We might have even caught up to them. I don't know how long they were up here at the trailhead. But it was a little awkward there because, you know, it was almost like they were going to talk to us. I didn't know what they were doing there. Farting around with where they were going to park somehow. And I don't know. There's like a little loop around where this parking lot is. And, uh,. So they went around the loop, and then were right behind us all of a sudden. There's a car with lights on right behind me in this parking lot of a four-wheel drive at 1.30 in the morning. And it's like, well, that's something unexpected. <laughs> and then, I don't know, it was almost like they were looking to see what we were going to do. And just parked on, and was like, all right, well, fuck it. I'm, I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> so, just parked. And then we're uh, in the car right now. Uh Testing it out. First time we'll sleep in the car. First time I've ever slept in my Nissan. First inaugural. There's a lot of inaugurals in this car, and it's not the first time I've done any like four wheel drive stuff in the car, but uh, definitely first 14 er trip with this vehicle. And yeah, first time spending the night in the back of it, which is pretty nice. I don't know if David wants to show. I'm in this a new video of it. Lovely sleeping bag, actually. Right, right here. This this thing is just amazing. It's one degree bag. It is light, comfortable, and I'm really worried I might break it. <laughs> yeah, this thing can take a beating. And I'll never be cold in this bag. It's true. His is a zero degree. Mine's just a puny twenty degree. Just a. It's a nice wimpy. <laughs> just because the guy with the uh, the higher temperature bag is clearly the wimp. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> the guy that'll suffer the cold is clearly the wimp in the situation. Exactly. Didn't you know? I'm glad we have it agreed on. <laughs> Don't you know? Anything else? Uh, you got you got a view of our little setup here, right? Oh, uh, <laughs> this is weird because like anything I do, it literally like just gets everything. It does double. So you can. Yeah, you might be able to see both. I don't know, but, but, but we'll try to do it from my view, actually. Well, actually, no, it'll be easier, actually. Yeah. It'll be easier. Normally, we'd be doing this video log outside when we first got here, you know, maybe show, like, a picture of, like, our sleeping bags in the back here. Oh, but, it's uh, pretty dark. Yeah, it's just pretty dark. But those guys are out sleeping somewhere, so it's like we don't want to disturb them. And be awkward talking, celebrating that we're up here. Yeah. And what I think is the easiest night because you don't have to worry about the tent, you know, leaking or anything if it rains real hard. The car's pretty solid, it'll it can take a it can take a pounding in the rain. So that's kinda nice. So. Well I guess we'll see you guys on video log number we did not four? drink our beer with our safety helmets. Oh no! Damn it! Well, we got three. We, two, we got four more. So we could have hurt ourselves. What were we thinking? We we could do it tomorrow. What were we thinking? That's not what's gonna get us up Crestone and Crestone Needle. <laughs> Stupid like that. This shit's gonna be terrifying. Mm -hmm. I say that every time, like being being scared and nervous. But I, I, it's kind of my own fault because I'm the one that picks the mountains that we climb. But uh, this one is, yeah. This this. I mean, it's the same every year. But yeah, this one is. I'm confident in the climbing ability. Class three solid rock. We can do it. But it is gonna be exposed as all get out. So it is gonna be terrifying. So psychologically, this is going to be a rough one. Cresto needles, particularly. Cresto, I'm probably, it'll be bad, but it won't, it's no Cresto needle. It'll be, it'll be interesting. I've been dreading this mountain for years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ever since we saw it on Kit Carson. Yep. Refer to the video logs. I don't know. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, we can see it. The needle. Fuck that. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> the motherfucking prowl. I'll never do that ever. Yeah. Ethan, well, that's a shout out to you for, uh, what, what was that? Uh, Mr. Freeze? I will never do that roller coaster. Well, that's where I'm at right now with this mountain. <laughs> it's like, well, I guess I'm gonna do it. Guess we'll find out. So, hopefully, I mean, hopefully, what I'm really worried about is uh, the weather. Hopefully, it's nice and clear when we're climbing. That'll be nice, so we can see the route and whatnot. Because I'm sure once we start climbing, it'll be a bit, it won't be as bad. You know, it's the whole fear thing, you're imagining it worse than it might be. Right. So I'm sure it'll be scary, but like, once you're on it, it'll be less, um, once you're going through it, it's not as bad because, you know, you're actually doing something about it, as opposed to the anticipation of waiting for it, you know? Yep. So, and then, uh, yeah. So, plus you're also in control of the situation at the time, so you know, it's, yeah, it's a bit nicer when you're actually doing it. And uh, from the reviews I've read, um, it's a nice climb. It's like, you know, real solid rock class 3, so you don't have to worry about too much loose stuff, which is the big one that really sucks when you're climbing, because, you know, you don't have to, you're not going to have, we're not going to be fiddling around for like, you know, a minute every step to find a, you know, solid foothold and, you know, handhold and whatnot. So it should be a bit quicker in that regards. Um, and then our legs will be a bit fresher in that we're, you know, physically climbing. So more of our weight's being, you know, we're, our arms are getting more work. So that takes a bit of work off our legs. But, uh, I say that, but it's still going to be exhausting. I'm sure. Especially at altitude. Oh. Uh-oh. The battery died? I don't think so. I don't think so. I hope not. We are in darkness. It might just be like a fail safe in the car. Like, oh well. You want to test it? 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out. All right. Nobody will see you. All right, well, guys, we're gonna figure that out, and then we'll see you guys on video log number four. That looks like a girl. Welcome to video log number four. I'm Stephen Ryan, so I'll be your host for this, uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> what are they, for this event. <laughs> we are for this event. <laughs> Oh man, darker than I than I thought it would be. Let's see. Yeah. Well, you can see the outline at least. Yeah. No, it's that perfect time where cameras can't really take a picture of it because it's too dark. But you can see. The cameras can't do it. Yeah. Now that a long shutter. So we're at the base of Crestone. Mm-hmm. About to do the up climb. I'm already over broken in past. Cool. We didn't really get a video log of our campsite or anything. It rained on us yesterday. Yeah. Pretty good for a good maybe an hour. Got wet. Set up our tent in a nice little pond. <laughs> Turned into a pond. So we had to move the tent. Literally the worst place that we could have set up our tent, we chose. As our tent, <laughs> as our tent site, we had to move it, as Stephen said. But so that was that was fun. But we made out of it. We're out of it unscathed. It was pretty nice. Sun came out. <clears throat> I took a little walk. David took a little two-hour nap. I took what? It was like an hour and a half. Yeah. So we've been hiking for about two hours now. Got for breakfast before the sun climbed. Um. Yeah, it's been really nice. There's some people in front of us. I don't. I'm not moving though. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's one. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, you can kind of see him actually. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> it's because of that neon green. Mm -hmm. Um, I should make a note. I had some really nasty, well, one really nasty blister that we put lots of moleskin on, basically covered the entire heel and put on three <laughs> layers of socks. Like, almost half of our moleskin's gone. Yeah. It's working, which is great. I can still feel it, but it, it's not excruciatingly painful like it was yesterday, so manageable and just kind of tough it out. But that's another thing that happened yesterday. So. Anything else you want to add? Uh, hopefully that will be uneventful. Hopefully we'll make it up to the top here. Mm -hmm. um, it's a ways. Still got we got like two thousand feet to climb, um, so it'll take some time. That looks pretty high. Yep, high and steep. High and steep. Good thing we got gloves. We got gloves for the rocks. Yeah, so my hands don't freeze and also so I don't get cut up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a little bit for both. <laughs> See, I'm not worried about my hands freezing as much as I'm worried about you know cutting them up. My my gloves are a little damp. Oh. Anyway. So. But uh, yeah. Oh, we can put our helmets on. <laughs> That's true. And uh, yeah, I'm getting cold. Well, I'm sitting here. Shall we end video log number four and see them at the top of the peak? Yeah. Well, see you guys at the top of the peak. I guess unless we have a random mm. video idea during the middle. All right. Hi guys. Yeah. Welcome to video log number five. I'm talking to my pants. Um, I'm talking to my shirt. I guess. We'll we'll keep north of the equator then. Yeah. It's a perfect time to start this video. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so anyway, how uh, have you been? <laughs> <laughs> so we're on top of the mountain. Uh, we did not have any crazy video ideas on the way up, but it was fun. Uh, there was some like. The actual physical class three climbing was way fun, um, way better than when you had trail, you know, and you're walking. It just that sucks. The dirt, that's just a haul and a grind. But 
doing the action class threes. It was nice. You feel the altitude at the top, <coughs> towards the top of the gully. It was like, uh -huh. we must be getting close because I'm having to stop every 10 seconds <laughs> to breathe. Yeah, really cool. You can see Humboldt over there. Humboldt. And then we've got Kit Carson and Challenger. David's looking far up the needle. Right oh, there. sorry, Kit Carson and Challenger right over there. Center. Challenger was the one far left. And then you have the needle. We also got Blanca, Ellingwood, and, and Little Bear right over there. It's a little hard, hard to, to see. see. Ellingwood. Yeah, I zoomed in. And that's, that's, and that's what we're doing tomorrow. Yeah, real. Pretty crazy, isn't it? Pretty cray cray. So, not much of a summer. Uh, pretty cool, but yeah, there's a. Uh, how was the hike up? Like I said, it was really fun. It was really nice. Um, a little bit of route finding, but yeah. It's, I mean, there's only so much you can go. You're going up the gully. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I think it's doing, uh, that's East Crescent over there. It's like a minor peak. Doesn't really count because this is the real summit. Right there. Uh, we're thinking about maybe trying that. We do not have a route description for that, so we'd have to wing it. Um, well, we could probably wing that. It looks like you go up that nice slot and then cut over right and zigzag up. Yeah. That's what it looks like. You're going, going, going. Well. So I guess that's what we're going to do next. This has been fun. Miss you, Sam. Yeah. Miss you, Sam. Sad, you. sad, sad tears here. It, it's very cold, so crying might not be the best. But not as cold as we've been on, though. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Considering, uh, uh, last summer was, wasn't cold, but. Uh, I think Democrat and Lincoln, that, uh, those, those ones. Those were the worst. Yeah. It's Sherman. Yeah. There's a uh, wind shelters on those at least. If it was this, if it was that windy on this mountain, no way. Yeah. No way. Got into the gully and just it's like ah. Uh, uh. <coughs> it is exposed. Most exposure is when you get out of the gully. Oh, you can also see the great sand dunes over there. That's right, the dunes. Hang on, Stephen. Can you move to your left so I can? Yeah, right there. Beautiful shot of it. Anyway, should we see them on video log number uh, number six? Yeah, Alright, see you guys on video log number six. Welcome to video log! Shit, uh, it's like five or six. Five or six? Baby seven? I don't know. It is crazy! Um, Alright, you can probably see. But it has been hailing and thundering on us for over an hour now. <laughs> That's some serious hail. Yeah. There's gonna be like an inch of hail out there, at least. I mean, it, it's so bad that you can literally see that, well, basically everything is getting wet around us. I mean, you can see that. It's gonna turn into a winter camp. Yeah, this is gonna be intense. Uh, we weren't gonna do a video log, but this is unprecedented for both of us. Yeah. I have never seen this much hail on a 14er. It's very possible that we might not have a video for Presto Needle tomorrow. Yeah. We, uh, we typically don't go in monsoon season, so we avoid all this. Yeah. But, uh, we had to wait for the snow to clear out, so that's why we're going now. And yeah, it's not... That was a good one. Uh, we'll probably give you a quick video when it stops to show you the aftermath, because I'm assuming it's going to be rather yeah, I'm impressive. assuming all the trees are going to be blown over and destroyed. And so <laughs> it's like Armageddon out there, man. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll give you a video later. Um, my guess is everything is going to be white. Just white. Yeah. So, we'll see you guys soon. Hopefully. Welcome to video log Hola. number seven. I'm uh, dual screening this one so that you guys can kind of see us as we're talking and also see the ridiculous storm that swept in. Okay. I'll uh, give you kind of a panorama here. Actually, let me get up because there's some cool spots. 
Steven's eating right now, so we'll uh, we'll leave him be. Cheers. <laughs> Let me read my ward. <laughs> if you can kind of see out in front of me, um, all of the hail. This is hail, not snow. Come over to our tent. You can kind of see a nice little little spot. Tent actually held up really well compared to what could have happened. I mean, there's there's just almost a good solid, I'd say, four inches of hail in some spots. Oh, right, yeah, the lake. This thing is ridiculous. I mean, I'm going to walk through it with my Gore-Tex boots, but you can see this thing is a sheer lake of just water. Originally, before it started to melt, it was mostly hail. Um, it's not looking good for Crestone tomorrow, Crestone Needle tomorrow, but... We can hope that it melts. Yeah. I mean, you can see the snow everywhere. I wonder if I could... No, I can't zoom in with this. That's the needle right up there. Right there. Doesn't look too snowy from this side, but we can't see the side that we'd be going up on. Yeah, it's uh, pretty crazy. Our uh, our dining fly over here, when I came out, well, I can show you. It had, I'd say, almost 10 pounds of hail. I mean, this this is how much hail was in this thing. It, it was an enormous amount. It's very cold now. Um, I do have to thank my mom for telling me that I should bring a tarp like this, because, uh, <clears throat> well, it was very useful. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we didn't have a floor, a dry floor, so, uh, this was our dry I mean, floor. I have my camp chair, but David doesn't have a camp chair. Yeah. yeah, I've got my wet pants as the dry parts as, a uh, insulation, and it works pretty well. It's not bad. Whew. Anything else you would like to say, Stephen? Aren't you excited that next weekend we're going to the Pecos? <laughs> <laughs> Monsoon season still. I don't think it'll be this bad. I hope but we'll not. be right back out next weekend. <sighs> you can forget your nice warm bed. <laughs> I'll be okay. I'll be, I'll be packing more heavy on that one. Yeah, me too. Like, I, I actually do think I packed heavy enough for this one. Like, I'm cold, but, you know, it's not... You got extra I'm, layers I'm you could no, put on, yeah, so... Yeah. I'm in... I'm not in trouble. Yeah. You know, like, it's not... You know, it's cold, but it's... Oh, my sleeping bag got a trial by fire. Um, it got wet because it was so wet around the tent. And the dry down actually worked. It, it, it... The outside got wet, but the inside stayed dry, relatively warm, where it was wet, and uh, it actually dried pretty quickly. So, good on you, dry down. Well, I think... Uh, Next week won't be as bad either, because we'll be, uh, the Pecos won't, we'll be able to stay at camp, we won't be doing this serious mountain climbing stuff. That's true. So. <laughs> It'll be a bit nicer in that regard. Well, I think I'm gonna sign off of Video Lock 7 and let's hope we see you guys. Oh, hang on. Let us hope we see you guys at Presto Needle Peak. If not, see you at the cars. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Log on to Video Log number 8. Uh, this is our final video log. There's Steven. Yeah. Uh, we just uh, got done eating in Alamosa at Chili's. Uh, we did not do 
the needle this morning because I woke up at around 3, it was still raining, so we kind of decided to opt on the side of safety and not go up, but we'll get it. One day, we'll get it. Um, we're pretty confident we have the ability to get it. Yeah. So that's, that's a big relief. You just need the conditions. Yeah.